Hello and welcome to the 40th video in this series of videos programming Chess Engine in C. So picking up from where we left off in the last video, I'm going to inside the clear piece function just remove all of these comments that are explaining the how the piece lists work because those can were downloadable with the last video's code so they're not needed anymore and they were just comments. Now I'll just save that and quickly hold my breath and run a make. It does make good. So this video quickly will put in, now we've got clear piece, we need to put in add piece and move piece. And I'll breeze through these fairly quickly because they're from the principle uh, exactly the same as clear piece. So add piece here, put the full function in. So we've got the static void add piece taking in the square as an argument that we want to add the piece to, a position pointer and also the piece that we want to add. And because I have very bad habits in programming, I should also have put these as constant. So we check that the piece is valid and we check that the square's on board and we store in the col an integer telling us the color of the piece that we're adding. So the first bit of action is to hash this piece into the hash key on that square. And then we have our pieces array and at that square we add the piece. And then just like in the clear piece we say if the piece is a big piece, so not a pawn, we increment our counters for big, major and minor and if it's a pawn then we set the relevant bits for our colour of the piece and also for both colours using the square 64 indexing. So identical to the previous but simply setting and adding rather than taking away. And the last thing we do is add on the material value for this piece to that particular side's material and then we increment, we add the piece to the piece list and the only tricky thing in here, I'm not going to go through piece lists again, I'll assume you understand what this means, but here I've taken a shortcut by basically saying we set, we post increment the number of pieces. You could read this line also in this manner, like this. It's exactly the same thing where we set at this index value equal to square and then we increment the number of pieces. I've simply put it in here because it saves us a line of code and we've already got more than enough lines of code in this program. So doing a post increment here means it'll use the program where the compiler will use this index and then increment. If I'd done it here it would have incremented first and then used the index after the increment, but it's done here in that way, so it uses the index before incrementing. So that's very simply the add piece function, and the move piece function is probably the simplest of all of them in terms of what to do on the board, but maybe the most complicated with the piece list. So the move list piece function is as follows we have the from, and again, I haven't got a constant here. We have a from square and a to square. So we're moving a piece from square from and from to square to. So first thing to do, of course, is assert that both of those are on the board. Otherwise, things are going to get funky. We've got an index for a loop later. And we find out what piece is on the from square and what color this piece on the from square is, because we'll be needing that, obviously. The next thing I've got is a preprocessor command here to say if debug is defined, then we'll declare this variable here because I'm going to, when we loop through the piece list, make sure that we found, just as when we were looking in the clear piece up here, we ended up asserting for a minus one. We're going to be looping through the piece list here because we need to change the square value from the from to the two. So we must find a piece in the list with our from square value. And if we don't, this will stay false and I'm going to assert it. But I only want that in debug mode. And then bit of action, we hash the piece out of the from square and set the pieces array on the from square to empty. And then we hash it into the two square and put the piece in the pieces array at the two square index. And if it's a pawn, so not big, then we need to clear the bit at the from square in the piece color section of the index and also on the both colors index. And then we need to set the pawn at square 64 on the two square. So that also should be fairly obvious. And now we come to the last bit, which 
now if you've understood the piece list explanation from the last video hopefully won't be too much of a problem we basically cycle through all our pieces of this piece type in this loop here with index and when we find the piece at the index that has the same value as our square from then we simply at this index set that value now to 2 because it's moved from square from to square 2 and I've set here again preprocessor if we're in debug mode then set t underscore piece num to true and when we found this value here then we break out of the loop and here I've just got the assert saying assert t piece num because we must have found the piece here if we didn't then our piece lists don't match up with our pieces array and things have gone very very array so that's all there is to it those are the three vital functions that are going to be used inside make move in the next video we'll actually start writing the make move function itself so thanks very much for listening comments questions criticisms welcome as always on youtube